So, another anime original done by Brainbase. That seems pretty interesting in a sense. I didn't expect much from Enride, and what I got out of it is what I expected. It was pretty alright. It did what it needed to do. Spent 25 minutes just entertaining me. I thought, what more can I ask for? Literally, what more can I ask for? I was given what I wanted, and it was actually freaking good. Then Shun seems like quite... He seems like the generic protagonist, but he seems kind of interesting in his own regard. Maybe he actually might develop to some kind of cool in the end. Emilio being that freaking cool ass dude you always see in these animes. So I was kind of like, okay. Kind of dig Emilio's kind of like, I guess, character kind of study in the sense he's basically just got some beef with Del Zane in the sense he actually always admired Del Zane, but then he found out he's actually his father enemy. And then he kind of wants to avenge his father that's been killed. So that's basically the extent of his kind of character in a sense. I was kind of like. Okay, I get behind him. He's alright. He seems like a pretty cool dude. Then Zeal gets thrown in prison as well, and it's basically where Shun gets into the world itself. But basically, as for Shun, he really freaking likes crystals. Like, you give him a crystal, he'll be a best friend in the history of the universe. And basically, what happens? He goes home, and his mom is all like, Yo, it's your dad's birthday soon. you got to remind him. He's all like, Don't worry, fam. I am reminding him constantly every single day. Don't worry. Comes for the birthday, what does a dad do? Doesn't come home. He's all like, Well, bait, what's going on here? And mum's all like, Yo, I'm getting hungry here, so I'll just let me freaking eat, alright? Just let me freaking eat. Basically, like, Don't worry, I'll go and investigate. And basically, he goes to the actual place he's working at, he's actually a professor. And what happens is, he actually goes up to the actual kind of office that he's in, and yeah, he actually finds a crystal, opens the crystal up, basically get, kind of opens his portal to a place called Endorder, which also has been called somewhere else. The place is called en Endra, not too sure what it's actually been called. So it's either Endra or Endora. I say Endora in the anime, but people are saying Endra, so I'm not too sure. But either way, he gets transported to that world, gets a warp relic, and basically, yeah, it's transported to the world, doesn't know, he's, doesn't know what he has going on, basically he's got to find a way home. And that's the extent of your plot. I think Leon one from freaking Digimon shows, I was like, Leon one, it's like, what are you doing here, fam? But yeah, I was kind of like, what, what, what more do I expect? It gave me what I wanted, it gave me good amount of shonen action and since I don't know about the fights, the fights themselves seem pretty alright, I mean the water relics seem pretty okay I mean the way they get rid of it seems a pretty more like arbitrary in the sense that they have to like kind of remember something that really rela relaxes him in the sense he actually remembers a crystal takes it away, it's kind of like okay so that's basically a get away with the sword but yeah I thought in its own right it's pretty interesting, like it has an interesting plot and so you can go places. I'm not too sure about Emilio's plot. Well, I think his I think his plot's just a bit too generic. I mean, even Shun's kind of plot itself is kind of a bit. Oh, he just want to get. He wants to get home. That's about it. But I'm not too sure where it's going to go. Hopefully, it does actually kind of give us some kind of quirks here and there. So it doesn't seem like it could. It's Brain Base. I do have my hope with Brain Base because they actually are a pretty good animation company. But yeah, so it's all round. Alright, that's what I'm trying to say. Animation's pretty nice. Not too sure about the character designs, that's the thing that gets me the most. I'm not too sure about the character designs. I mean, Emilio's one's kind of the one that bugs me the most. But I think I can get used to it after a while. Maybe I haven't seen a brain-based anime since like two seasons ago, so probably that's the reason why. So I need to get back used to brain-based kind of animation style. But yeah, as I said, it's alright. Would I recommend going and watching it? I would probably say go watch it for your own opinion because it's kind of like one of those things that either you're going to love it or you're going to freaking damn hate it. I'm not too sure. It's one of those things. It's still early days to say whether or not it's actually concrete really freaking good. Like I said, I can't really say right now. You know what, fam? Go out watch it right now. You know, it's up 25 minutes of a pure blast. Can't say right now. Give about three episodes, you might actually just like it a little bit more. So, if you like Alien Driver, if you want to leave a like, do leave a subscribe, leave a sub, do leave a subscribe, but if you like Alien Driver, let's see what I do. Bye for now.